I am super excited about this video because I had a couple of you ask me if I would go through what I love for K-beauty or K-skin care. I don't really have a, enough favorites in the makeup category, but boy, do I have a lot in the skincare category. And there are 15 in front of me, give or take one or two. And we're gonna be getting into that because they have made such a true dramatic difference in my skin. I cannot believe how good it looks at 56 years old compared to 46 years old when I started all of this. So we're gonna get into that. I'm gonna show you what I have on for a top really quickly because I get asked, all the time what it is this top is a little snug size up if you don't know exactly what size to get size up i will put the jewelry the fingernails all the makeup that i have on today i will put all of that down in the description box for you along with listing every single one of these products i hope that you do enjoy this video and if you are new to my channel i hope that you do decide to subscribe if you like it please give it a thumbs up and all of you that are here regularly I love you guys so much and I cannot begin to tell you how much your support means to me. Let's not talk anymore. Let's get right into these products from K-Beauty that I feel are just fabulous. Let's talk a little bit of cleansing balm. This is really an interesting cleansing balm because I'll show you first, this is my empty one. <laughs> I've got like one more squeeze to get out of there in order to take off my makeup with. But this is called I'm From Fig Cleansing Balm. Got a name that it's from Korea. I'm not exactly sure what it says there. This is really hard for me to read these things sometimes. But so you know, this is called I'm From Fig. I'm from Fig Cleansing Balm. When you get it, this is the new one. When you get it, you do have a spatula that you can use. And then the stopper right there, brand new one, just got it. Uh, you can get it out that way if you want to. I'm bad. I always stick my fingers in here. It's cleansing balm and I feel like, well, it's going to get it off no matter what. But anyway, I'll tell you why I love it though, because a little bit of it goes a long ways. It does have a rose fragrance for those of you that don't like that. But you get the gist. One of the most water resistant pencils I have is from Kat Von D. It's her tattoo liner. And I could take a few minutes and let that set down. But what we're going to do is we're just going to demonstrate how good this is to take off makeup. So I'm going to take just a little bit of it and roll it around here and look at it melt it. That, that is the same exact thing that it does when it is on your eyelashes or anywhere of your other makeup. And this is not a wet cloth. I would normally use a wet cloth, but look, it brought all of it off. It is amazing. Now I use it in conjunction with some cleansing cloths that I'll put down below the link for this. And I don't have to tug on my mascara. Even when I'm using waterproof mascara, it just melts away. I've used so many cleansing balms and I keep going back to this one. And even though it does have that rose fragrance, unless you're really adverse to fragrance, it doesn't stick with you and you're washing it off anyway because you're gonna do a double cleanse after this. You're gonna use some sort of a cleanser. This is just wonderful. Now let's talk about a little bit of exfoliation and different things that I like to do after I cleanse, before I go in with my serums. And especially in the morning when I feel like I don't want any dead skin cells or texture underneath my makeup, I wanna do a little bit of exfoliation. Beauty of Joseon is this is the ground rice and honey glow mask this has rice husks ground up in it so it's a little cellulose product it is not gritty at all um here i'll show you the texture of it it's quite thick oh i thought it was gonna come out nope it didn't okay the texture of it is quite thick it feels very nourishing and very hydrating. You can feel that little bit of a rice cellulose in there. So it's a little bit of a physical exfoliant. But what this does is as you're rubbing it around and you're getting the dead skin cells off, this is so hydrating because the base of this has that honey and other moisturizing factors in it that just really are nourishing and hydrating and feel wonderful on your skin. I think this is one of those ones and I'll show you look that's my tan and it's coming off because that's such a good exfoliator so you get a really great product in this and it's easy to use and it's very nourishing and very hydrating I love this sometimes I'll use this 
in, in the morning instead of my regular cleanser and then rinse my face and go in with my other serums and my essences and yeah i really really think that's a fantastic one okay so if you want a little bit more exfoliation let's say that you have a lot of texture you have a lot of roughness on your skin you might even have a lot of sebum or large pores where you feel like you're not getting them clean enough and those that sebum where your settles into your pores is going to stretch your pores out and make your pores look even bigger and what you want to do is shrink those so that your skin looks more even and also so that it looks more smooth and that is where this product comes in for me this is not only high, super hydration this is also just a little bit of an exfoliation and it's very gentle for sensitive skin like mine and i want to read to you right from the website this is from round lab and it is docto toner this exfoliates dead skin cells with a very gentle exfoliation not only does it gently exfoliate your dead skin cells and soften your skin but it's hypoallergenic and it's good for all skin types this is the next generation of exfoliation especially if you're somebody that has sensitive skin or dry skin sometimes everything can get irritating but this is a really gentle one it's called it's naturally derived component that gently exfoliates excessive sebum and dead skin cells now you may think that that's just if you have acne prone skin it is not you want to get rid of that sebum especially if you have dry skin because we're turning over skin cells faster than a person that has oily skin normally because their skin dries out and then you know we get flaking and all that so this is so good and you just use it in the morning or at night whichever one that you want to incorporate it in it doesn't matter you use it before you start in with all your serums and it's just going to really prep your skin and help your skin look very soft and very supple for the next steps so love that one as well now the next one that i'm going to share with you is from menyo i hope i'm saying these right because i'm terrible about that but this is the bifida ampule mist i find that i use this during the day because when i get super dry or when i feel like my skin needs a boost of radiance during the day i use this this is the prettiest mist it's super fine it feels like you're not even putting anything on your skin but you're getting that hyper moisture that you may need i mean you can literally just put it on your skin you can use this as a setting spray if you wanted to i would probably use it as a priming spray but you put it on your skin and instantly it's going to get that boost of hydration now i want to read to you what some of the key ingredients in this is it has bifida obviously which lactobacillus bifida lactobacillus helps strengthen the skin's barrier to make skin more nutritious now that is also an antioxidant bifida also softens lines and it also helps elasticity it also has a mushroom complex complex mud mushroom cloud mushrooms etc the rich nutrition from mushroom complex protects skin from external factors that cause irritation so it's going to be a barrier and then peony bark sap it gives vitality to dried and tired skin to help and help to smooth the sensitive skin helps making the skin feel comfortable so if you're during the day your skin feels tight it feels irritated whatever from your skincare this is a very soothing product and on the bottom it actually does say barrier intensive skin mist so you're helping your skin barrier but this is also a big huge one of that that you can refill that with but i got this because i wanted to use this on my body and it's not that expensive so you are strengthening the barrier all over your body use it on my arms on my legs where i get so dry with that elephant type skin love that stuff that's an extra little added bonus in here next is one that i'm super duper excited about because if you've been with me any amount of time you know that benton the skincare korean skincare company is one of my very favorite companies they have a green tea toner they have a bifida toner that is so good or serum that is so good i use them all the time i love them but the one in their line that i just recently discovered that i am super hyped about is the snail bee ultimate toner so let me read to you on the package itself what it says it helps gentle and deep moisture nourishment and elasticity by containing saccharomyces snail secretion filtrate fermentation filtrate naturally derived moisturizing ingredients multiple peptides and bee venom 
This is a powerhouse of different ingredients. So let me read to you what these ingredients do. Snail secretion mucin helps boost elasticity and collagen and enhances the inner skin power. So it's just going to help boost your skin to do what your skin needs to do. Camilla synthesis leaf water delivers minerals, vitamins, and polyphenols. It soothes and cools the skin, sorry, tongue-tied. Bee venom, it cares for sensitive skin by elevating skin strength itself. It has niacinamide in it, which is B3, and that, of course, we know is a very brightening product that does play well with everything. It has adenosine in it, which helps with skin's elasticity, and it has six kinds of peptides in it that care for collagen and elasticity and protection of the skin barrier. And yes, guess what? I researched this, and this does have copper peptides in it. This is a powerhouse serum, and I have been absolutely loving it. You can use it with anything at all. You don't have to be saving it for the morning or saving it for the evening. I would just wait a couple of minutes until it dries down and then go in with whatever you're using. I've been using it both morning and night, and I've been going in with my vitamin C in the morning. No problems there because this does have ingredients in it that are antioxidants and they're free radical fighters. So they work right alongside with vitamin C. Such a good product and super hydrating. And if you do have that very sensitive skin, it's going to help that as well. Before I get too sidetracked, I'm gonna tell you about the two uh, SPFs that I just absolutely fell in love with. I heard about one of these from you all, she told me about it, and then the other one I heard about from Penny from Penn Smith Skincare. This one is from Thank You Farmer. It's the Sun Protect Summer Essence. It has an SPF of 30. It has a brightening agent in it and it does wrinkle care. Okay, the brightening agent in it is why I use this so many times as a primer because it gives you that glowy, dewy skin. And you can see right there, it looks a little bit pink. Maybe you can't see it across camera, but it looks a little bit pink, but look how nourishing that is. And that is sinking in so fast. This is thin, it's light, so if you're somebody that has just had a problem with those SPFs getting on your skin and then them feeling super heavy and you're feeling like they never sink in, that is not this one. This Thank You Farmer product will sink in very, very quickly. It does have a little bit of hydration to it. It doesn't, it's not drying at all, but I love the glow that it leaves behind. So this is really good and it has Penny's stamp of approval. So I'm gonna be using it and loving it. I've actually had it for a long time, that's my second one. But this one from Hamish is the Glow Base and this is an SPF 50 plus. Now I did get told very recently by someone that I was spreading misinformation and that it was okay to put a 30 on your face instead of a 50. Well, if you go to the American Dermatology website, they tell you that 30 is what you should be using no matter Matter what and they also say that 50 isn't giving you much more protection than 30 is and I was really surprised when I first read that but it made me feel better about using these ones that are 30 the key to really using SPF correctly is reapplication so if you put makeup on you're gonna need a spray one to not disrupt your makeup you're gonna need to spray SPF but if you don't just reapply these every two to three hours especially if you're outside you have to do that and even if you're inside during the day at least reapply it once that's really the key and how much you use you want to use a lot and I know that these can get a little bit expensive but we want to pamper our skin. We want to take care of our skin. So enough of little soapbox thing there. This is from Hamish. This is the Glow Base. This is the SPF of 50 plus. And this one I loved as well because it definitely has a beautiful glow to it. But I like this one on days when I'm feeling super dry. This one's a little bit thicker. Not that it feels too heavy or anything like that. It just feels like it has a little bit more of that hydration in it. But boy, does this one have the glow. This one had that little pinkish tint that gave the little bit of glow. This one from Hamish has a whole lot of glow. And I just, I really like this one. And I feel like both of them are so good. And either one that you choose, you're gonna get that beautiful glow out of it. But since it's Korean, it's not gonna sting your eyes and it's going to sink in. I just, I love, Korean SPFs and I know a lot of people go for mineral and if you feel that way I totally understand go for your minerals mineral sunscreens But for me the white cast and the thickness of them 
and the fact that they just don't play well under my makeup, the way to go for me is these Korean sunscreens. This one I'm not going to spend a lot of time on because I've talked to you all about the Dermatology HPR eye cream that I absolutely love that I felt like got completely rid of that crepey skin on the top of my eyelids. Well, one of you came up and you said, there is one from Beauty of Joseon that will do the same thing. And you're right. You were very right because I've been trying for the past two months the HPR eye cream on one eye and then the Beauty of Joseon on the other eye. And they are exactly doing the same thing. This is a little bit less expensive. So this is the Revive Eye Serum with ginseng and retinol in it. And retinol with an AL, remember that's a lot better than the OL. I use this morning and night. The retinol does not bother me. It's gentle enough that it is one of those that you can use morning and night. And I have noticed such fantastic benefits from it. It's a very thin cream. Once again, that skin around our eyes is going to have a little bit harder time, you know, sinking in products, not this one. It's a gel-like formula and it sinks in so quickly. I mean, when I use this, it feels watery, but as soon as I get it on my eyes, it feels nourishing and I love it. And so this is actually my treatment before I go in with any moisturizers around my eyes. And it's just a really lovely eye cream that I feel like is fighting that crepiness that I get around my eyes. Now, does it do anything for dark circles? I couldn't tell you that because I have inherited dark circles that are not going to go away no matter what I do. A lot of you that have dark circles that are caused from tiredness, tiredness or food allergies or puffiness, then it might help you. But for me, I'm just kind of out of luck. I got to deal with what I got to deal with. So, but this one is fantastic for any of you that are struggling with fine lines, crepiness, crow's feet, all of those things. Just make sure you go all the way in to your inner eye right here because that's where I get the most crepiness. Pat it all the way around. I go into the crow's feet. I actually go into the eyebrow. I come all the way around into this whole orbital part and put this eye cream on there and it's lovely. Next is another one that one of you talked to me about. Now, in my Essence video that I did like two, maybe almost three years ago, I put Nimbusin number three in there, which is an essence that is this fabulous essence for making your skin super glowy because it has just a tiny bit of oils in it and it just makes your skin look soft and supple, but sometimes that doesn't play super well under makeup. It can get a little bit greasy, especially if you're oily or combo you need something that's going to go really good underneath your makeup and then it's going to boost your makeup and that's what the nimbusin number four does this toner and again these aren't really toners in my eyes these are more like essences i'm going to wipe off my skin right here so i can show you again but what is so pretty about this one is this is the hydrator that you need if you have super dry skin or if you're noticing that your makeup does not look very good through the day, you're getting texture, you're getting your pores showing up or whatever, patchiness with your foundation, whatever, you're gonna want to just put a little bit of that in your hand, very runny, just like water, and then you're going to put it over your face. I do this twice when it's really dry outside or when I'm feeling really dry. And first of all, this feels like a really luxurious hyaluronic acid, and it might have some hyaluronic acid in it. But the thing is, is once I get to my makeup, this makes my makeup look so smooth and so pretty. And so I'll use one or two coats of this, my vitamin C, and then my SPF. And I don't use anything else in the morning right now because I'm wanting to my makeup to not break apart in this heat we're having. So this has just been fantastic. It looks absolutely beautiful underneath makeup. And I want to highly recommend it to you. Now I know Suko Yakusuhara, the Urea Lotion is the one that I was suggesting for such a long time. It's gone as far as Amazon is concerned. I think you can still get it on Style Vanna. It is the super hydrator that I used for years, but right now I just am not tracking it down except for at Style Vanna. And I'm not ordering from them a lot, so I have to pay shipping. Whereas if I just get something on Amazon, it's a lot easier because I have my Prime membership. So definitely like that one. Moving on to this one, which is also a new one to me and which I also am super excited about. This is from, and I'm gonna say this wrong. I know I'll say it wrong. Pai Young Kang Yule Black Tea Boosting Serum. 
this one, wait until you hear about what a powerhouse this is. It's a serum. Again, we're talking about just a serum that sinks in so well. This one feels like, kind of like the snail mucin, but it sinks in super, super quickly, very easy to use. And yeah, here we go on all the ingredients and the wonderful things that this is. So black tea boosting serum. Black tea is wrinkle fighting, brighten, brighten skin tone, and it's intensive moisturizer. So they have been doing research on black tea and it really does help soften wrinkles and skin's elasticity. Now, it is also enriched with ginseng berry extract, and it says it contains the core nutrients of ginseng that deliver deep, intensive nourishment to the skin that has lost its vitality. So it's gonna brighten you up. It's gonna give you plumpness to your skin. It has peptides in it and adenosine as well that provide healthy energy and vitality to the skin that has lost its strength and vitality. Now, when a skin loses its strength, we're talking elasticity. So we're really boosting the vitality of our skin, the elasticity of our skin. The last thing it says that this is fantastic for aging skin. It will rejuvenate the skin, brighten the skin tone, and give you intensive moisture. And I feel like that is so true. Again, I've been testing this for weeks and weeks, and I can definitely say that adding this in has been so good. And you know, I'm going through all of these things. You guys know I review a ton of skincare. I absolutely love skincare. It is my jam, but you don't have to go out and get all of these things. But if there's something that piques your interest and you want to try it, go for it and put it into your routine. And if there's something that you haven't been that impressed with, you can kind of put it to the side. And you know what? I suggest if there's something that you're not that impressed with that you get, use it on your body, use it on your arms where you have that wrinkly, crinkly skin like I do, or on your legs, whatever. It's great to nourish all of that and rejuvenate your skin all over your body as well, and you won't waste it. But what I'm saying is this one is really good. It's a powerhouse. It's packed full of all of those things that you want in a super duper great toner. If I was gonna pick up toners in this video, it would definitely be the Benton Snail Bee Ultimate Toner, or it would be this one from P. Young. I say it wrong. Peyang Kang Yul. These two are fantastic toners that are going to rejuvenate your skin, help with wrinkles, help with elasticity, help with texture, all of those things. One of these two would be ones I would reach for immediately. Let's talk a little bit of retinol. There is tons of retinols out there, I know, but you're gonna want to listen to this one. This one is so good. This is a retinol cream from Derma Factory, and this is one that has been around for such a long time. Derma Factory, I didn't realize what a popular company it is and has been around the world as far as Korean skincare. Now I will say that this is made with stem cells, but it's made from stem cells from autopose tissue, which is our fat cells. So no worries about anything there. It's just utilizing those stem cells to help reactivate our own stem cells, which is really awesome. So let me tell you what this does. When you reactivate those stem cells, you are taking care of the dullness and the yellowing or the sallowness that you get from aging. Takes care of deep wrinkles. Again, remember retinol is part of what builds collagen. Takes care of sagging, so we're going to get the elasticity back to our skin and firmness, same thing. It's going to increase that plumpness and hydration. That will happen immediately, which helps our skin look better throughout the day. It fades age spots, which again, that's a retinol thing that fades age spots and helps with the evenness of the tone of our skin. And it has some fantastic ingredients that take care of elasticity, deep wrinkles, sun damage, tightening, firming, plumping, smooth, pore minimizing, refines uneven skin tone. This is just a fantastically powerhouse one as well. If you're looking for a new retinol, this might be your best friend. I use this one and switch it off with two others, one from Murad and my other one from Naturium. I feel like all three of those are just fantastic. And love, love, love it. So if you're somebody that can't use Retin-A, like I can't, the prescription, this is one that you may love. This is a nighttime one that you only wanna use at nighttime. I put on all my other serums and then I'll put this one on top of it because I do need a little bit of a buffer because of how sensitive my skin is, but oh my word, you're going to love this. Okay, I might as well just keep these glasses on. The next one, again, 
Another new one I've discovered in the past six months. This is from K Secrets. It's called Soul 1988. It's a serum that is retinol, liposome, 2% and black ginseng. And what is interesting about a liposome product is it is this little tiny thin fat delivery system. So it helps whatever you're using to be super gentle on your skin in the way it's delivered. So maybe if you were to deliver a product on your skin and your skin got irritated, making it a liposomal product where it's delivered with just a little bit of fat encapsulating it makes it super gentle. So that is something to think about. It also delivers it a little bit over time, which is also something that's really good because you're not wasting any or, you know, what's excess is not just going out into the air or whatever. So let me just describe to you the product. It is Soul 1988 Serum Retinol Liposome 2% and Black Ginseng. And it also has Bakucho Oil, which is an alternative to retinol if people can't use the other, but they boost their retinol with the bakuchol in this, vitamin C and three peptides. So we're looking at a really good powerhouse one in here as well. Not only that, but the, these are the concerns. If you have wrinkles, pigmentation, skin texture, or troubled skin, the benefits are anti-aging, brightening, pore care, and texture improvement. This is for all skin types, especially aging and mature skin. And I will just show you really quickly what it's like. Um, this one is probably just a little bit thicker, but still gel-like, sinks right in. You know what I love about the ones that sink right in is you can layer them and you're going to continue to get the benefits of them. So if you wait just a couple minutes between and you layer another one on, there's no problem with doing that because they're going to sink into your skin. Your skin will take and take and take. This is one that I just started incorporating a couple weeks ago, but the benefits of it and what I've read about it, I'm super excited about and wanted to bring you that in this video. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is just your moisture barrier, what you can use at night to boost that. And that is this Hada Labo Overnight treatment. Now, again, I was using the Sukoyaka Suhada, but found that I just couldn't find it anymore. The difference between that one and this one from Hada Labo is this one from Hada Labo is not quite as thick and it's not quite as hydrating, but the benefit of having that moisture barrier, wow, it is there friends. It is just so hydrating and so lovely. And the other thing is it's a fairly thick cream. So putting it on after all of your serums is going to be just that much more intensive of moisturizer. I love their packaging super tight on the jar, but I do like their packaging. Even setting them out on your vanity is really pretty. That's not why I got it, but it is pretty to have there. And again, I'll just read to you the shout outs out of this one so that you can know what it's all about. This is an all-in-one overnight treatment, luxurious texture, lightweight cream, transforms the look of aging skin. It says it repairs overnight, hydrates, repairs, firms, super hyaluronic acid, multi-layer, long-lasting moisture, restores and strengthens the skin. Uh, Japanese honeysuckle soothes and calms the skin. Soy peptide complex improves elasticity, rebuilds the skin structure and promotes skin renewal. That print was really small. So it just is lightweight, fast absorbing. It feels really good on your skin and it's suitable for all skin types. And guess what? I believe that is our 15th product in K-Beauty. I am a nut for K-Beauty. And if you have any questions about it, please let me know. I also have a website that you can go and you can look up all the ingredients and do your research on the ingredients of all of these. I have done that and it just helps so much because then you know who's putting good ingredients into their products and who is just blowing smoke as far as whether or not it's going to be any good, right? But these are the ones that are new to me in the past six months. I'm super duper excited about and I can't wait for you to try them. I love you guys so much and I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I will see you in my very next video. Love you. Bye-bye.